Hello and welcome to Warlords of Draenor Questlines. Today we will help Valen and Urel stop Ner'zhul from activating the Dark Star. From where we left off last time, we head to the Exile's Rise to meet with Rolkan, who is Ner'zhul's former mate. Here, she and some of the orcs from the Shadowmoon clan who do not agree at the Alliance of the Iron Horde reside. In Exile's Rise, we can get three relatively easy quests to do. The first one is from Rolkan, who asks you to go into the cavern below Exile's Rise and use the Broken Ancestor's Totem. When you use the totem, it will show you how Ner'zhul betrayed the tenants of the Shadowmoon clan to please the Iron Horde and in the process forsook his ancestors. In addition to that quest, you will be asked to find Dalga's son, Kralza, who can be found trapped in a cave by an orc named Dolmak. After killing Dolmak, she will summon a Dark Apparition which you must also defeat to finish the quest. Another quest you will receive will be to gather five Lunar Blossoms, which can be found all along the path that lead to the cave. Once you have finished these three quests, return to Exile's Rise to hand them all in. After that, Rolkan will give you the key to get into Anguish Fortress, and you will be asked to meet with Valen outside of it. When you arrive there, there will be a lot of quests that you can accept. One from Valen asks you to use the Fragment of Anguish to enter the fortress. From there you must destroy three marks, the Mark of Darkness, the Mark of Shadows, and the Mark of Anguish. Ranger Sato will offer you three quests to do alongside the main one. First you must kill 15 Shadowmoon Orcs inside the fortress, nice and simple. Then you must destroy three Void Creatures that are being summoned by the Orcs. The Essence of Shadow, the Essence of Darkness, and the Essence of Anguish. Then you must also free eight Draenei prisoners from the cages all around the fortress. One last side quest you will receive is from Illuminate Pravi, who will ask you to use five star readings that can be found littering the fortress floors. When you use all the marks and complete the quest, you will automatically receive the next part to meet with Urel and Valen on the Terrace of the Stars. In a bush by the terrace, you will witness Ner'zhul and Grom summoning a large void creature named Arkeddon. After their long bit of dialogue, you must kill Arkeddon, and then a scene will play where Yorel says her farewells to her Draenei friend Samara. After you finish there, head to Mbari Village and hand in the quest to Yorel and Valen. Finally, Valen will give you a quest to head into the nearby cave called the Waning Crescent and head outside to confront Ner'zhul, who is attempting to summon the Dark Star. During the fight with Ner'zhul, the only thing to watch out for is an ability that does damage in a line. He will also have a phase where he summons three spirits that you must defeat before they finish their casting. Once you get him low enough, Valen and Yurel come and he will summon a void creature for you and Yurel to fight while Ner'zhul and Valen have a face off. After you kill the creature, the finale cinematic will play. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you later.